Y'all take all of the attention that comes with it because at the end of the day, I got the city arguing about art. Is it too soon for WNBA prospect Caitlin Clark to have a mural in Indianapolis? Indie-based artist Quasar Martin doesn't think so. It's a W for the art world, so we got them arguing about art. That's fine. I, I, I'll take that any day. Martin is an ardent fan of the WNBA, especially the Indiana Fever. He sees Clark's declaration to enter the league's draft, where the Fever has the first round pick, as an inspiration to young girls in sports. Well, they actually been coming by, taking pictures with it. I just feel like she's changing the game in a way that we haven't seen uh, ever. It really was unfortunate that they didn't have it years ago, them, uh, years ago when you had Cheryl Miller, who was really, really, really good. And uh, the opportunity for her was never there. Um, it started after. So, you know, that's kind of the downside of it. But I think it's getting to a place where it's, it, when she get here, everybody's going to see it. It's, it's taking it to a, She's taking it to a different place. The Clark mural lines up next to other personal inspirations for Martin. His family owns the building on Indianapolis's west side, and it's become his canvas. Everything serves a purpose. Um, everything comes around, you know, uh, some type of way. Uh, it, it all makes sense to me, even when it doesn't make sense to everybody else. Besides a mural of Pacer Tyrese Halliburton, the Clark mural is flanked by rapper Benny the Butcher and motivational speaker Wallow Peoples. Kind of had a similar story as far as um, me going away, doing, doing prison time and coming home and changing my life around. He'd done 20 years and then came home and started a podcast, do motivational speaking for like prisons and stuff now and to the kids. I told my mother I would stick to my art when I came home and that's what I did. Martin frequently credits his mother, Sharon, as a stabilizing force in his art success and his strongest source of encouragement. Yeah, I would call home and uh, from time to time and she would just tell me to, you know, remember who I am and what I'm supposed to be doing and stuff like that. So it's, it resonated probably more than she knew and she, well, she know now. This building is a reflection of Quasar Martin's interests, a peek inside his brain. Sports, Mario Brothers, Spider-Man. If he enjoys it, he wants to draw your attention to it too. That's why I put like a lot of color, like uh, aside from the gray, that gray triggered the, the brighter colors. Cause you only get a glimpse if you ride past and you just happen to look over. But hopefully it's enough to get people to turn in and come check out what's back here. He works in aerosol paint using a doodle grid as his preferred method to get his designs on the wall. The doodles provide landmarks to connect the outlines of his subjects. I'll be riding and I'll get an idea. Usually as soon as the idea hit, I, I get to the wall, start priming start putting images together for that piece. Martin wants to round out his sports collection with a mural for an Indianapolis Colt, but these free pieces take a back seat to his paid gigs around the country. Wherever this art journey brings him, Quasar Martin is ready. Once it goes out here, the world see it. Everybody uh, is free to judge at that point or whatever. So one thing about my artists, anything you see me put up, I'm comfortable with it. And that's all that really matters to me when it goes out. Joy Hernandez for Great Day TV.